Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to Code.io. This is day 4 of 100 days of code. And uh, today's question is uh, equal arrays. Or uh, the name of the question is actually quite long. We are going to check if two arrays are actually equal or not. So the condition is that uh, if you rearrange one array, you should end up with another array. Not exactly in any particular order. Uh, but yeah, so uh, basically what they are trying to tell is if the characters that are present in this array or uh, the values that are present in this array are in uh, same number and uh, with the same frequency, right? So if you didn't get it properly, it's quite simple. I'll, I'll explain it later. But uh, uh, in simple terms, if you rearrange one array, you should end up with another one. And you're going to check if this is actually true. Okay, so uh, we can consider this example, right? And uh, we are given that n equals 5. So it means that the size of the array that we are given is 5 and we are given two arrays, right? So uh, the arrays are 1, 2, 5, 4, 0 and 2, 4, 5, 0, 1. So we are going to check if you rearrange one such array, if uh, will you end up with another one, right? So uh, the easiest approach that you could do is using a hash map, right? It's quite efficient as well. And it's very easy to implement as well. Only thing is that you should know how hash map works and how you can use it here. So let me just uh, tell you what hash map is in simple terms. So it is like, uh, like as the name suggests, it is just a map, right? So you can consider it as a table. So I have a rectangle here and uh, yeah, so let, let this be a table. Uh, so it can have two values as a pair stored in it right you can map a key to a value so that is what we call here in hash map right we call one as key and the other one as value okay so you are mapping two uh, two things together you are mapping a key with its value so in this case what you are going to do is you are going to map the value to its frequency or uh, the number of occurrence the number of times of occurrence so uh, let me just uh, erase this and uh, make it appropriate so what you're going to do is you're going to have value as key it's quite confusing so what i'm trying to tell is the elements that are present in this array that is going to be our key in this hash map and the number of occurrence that is what we call by frequency and that will be our value so in simple terms we are going to traverse through this array and check if uh, like check the number of uh, times a particular element has occurred and we are going to see if the same number of characters has occurred same number of times in the second array as well so for, for this example we have the value 0 and the value 0 has occurred one time. Similarly, we have values 1, 2, 5, 4 and all these have occurred just one time, right? And if we do the same for the second array, you could find that all these values have occurred the same number of times in both the arrays, right? So what I'm trying to tell is we have zero in this array. Zero has occurred one time and in the second array as well, we have zero only one time. Okay. Similarly, we have one, two, five and four. All these characters have occurred only one time in both these arrays. And that is all the characters, right? We, we, there is no other character without overlapping. So this means that if you can rearrange one array, it will end up with you will end up with another array that is given in the question, right? So I hope I am making things clear now. Uh, the values, the number of times each value has occurred, if they are same in both the arrays, it means that one array is equal to another array uh, in, in this question, right? In this context. Okay, fine. So this example was quite easy. I could uh, probably take you with another example. So let us have... 2 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 this be array 1 
and 3 comma 2 comma 5 comma 2 this be array 2 and naturally the value of uh, n is 4 right because we just have 4 characters in both these arrays so in this case again we are just going to use a hash map and map the value with the frequency that is the number of occurrence okay so we are go just going to traverse the first array now now here we have the value 2 and it has occurred two times we have the value 3 it has occurred one time we have the value 5 and it has occurred one time similarly for the second array if you try to draw, draw a similar table you will end up with the same values value frequency we have 3 one time we have 2 two times we have 5 one time and this is all the entries right this is all the characters that the arrays have and if you could compare these two if you could compare these two tables you will find that they are exactly same right you you might rearrange them but they are exactly same right so this means that these two arrays are equal okay so this is basically the logic now we'll try to program this in uh, geeks for geeks okay now here we are in geeks for geeks and uh, the link to this question will be in the description so you can check it out and uh, instead of an array we are given a vector right it's essentially the same you, you don't have to worry about that now uh, as we already discussed we were uh, using a hash map to find this right so i'm just going to declare a hash map i'm using c++ so we call it unordered map here and it is going to store int as key and int as its value both are int right and i'm just going to name it h map okay fine now i'm going to create the table that we just discussed for the first array so in order for uh, doing that i'm just going to traverse the first vector i equals 0 i less than n because i know definitely that the size of the vector is n right i plus plus so this for loop is going to traverse through this vector and i am going to make a note of the frequency hash map of array of i plus plus so let me just explain this particular line right so array of i is our current element the value okay now hash map of that says the corresponding frequency and all frequency or uh, all values by default will be zero okay so i am just going to increment it okay when i give plus plus it is incremented by one so since it was uh, zero by default if one character is present in the vector it will be updated to one right so here it is now instead of creating another hash map for the second array and checking if those two hash maps are same we are just going to do a clever trick and uh, walk away from that right so that is by using decrement value so if the number of frequencies is same in both the arrays increment and decrement should cancel each other and you should end up with zero right so that is what i have done here now here we have incremented hash map of array of i plus plus so we have found a value and the corresponding frequency is incremented by one now while traversing through the second array we are decrementing the value so if the number of uh, occurrence of both characters like the same character in both the arrays are same uh, for example if three has occurred two times in the first array after traversing through the first array the hash map value for 3 will be 2 right on traversing the second array if 3 has occurred the same two times in second array you will decrement it by two times right you will decrement the value of 3 by two times the, the frequency of 3 by two times so we'll end up with 0 in the position of 3 okay so that is what we have done here now once this thing is done you can traverse through the hash map and check if there are some values with frequencies 
more than zero. So uh, for I'm just going to use the auto data type and traverse through this hash map and I'm going to check if the frequency that is i dot second is not equal to zero. If it is not equal to zero, it means that there is one element in the first array which is not present in the second array, right? Or vice versa, like that is one element present in the second array that is not present in the first array because if they are actually equal, they should cancel each other and all values in the hash map should be zero because we started with zero, right? So if it is not present, we can just return zero because these two arrays or vectors are not same, right? And at the end of the method, I can return one saying because we have traversed through the entire hash map, we have added the frequencies, subtracted the frequencies and we should we, we, we have ended up with zeros in every entries and hence we can return one here. So I hope this is it. Now we'll try and run this and see if it works properly. Okay, so uh, a small mistake with uh, spelling of another map. Yeah, it's fine now. Okay, fine. All test cases have been uh, passed and uh, the solution has been accepted. So hope you got the logic. Now, uh, yeah, so we are creating a table. We are adding the frequencies in the first one, subtracting the frequencies in the second one. And if we end up with zeros in every entry of the table, it means that the arrays are equal, right? So hope you got it. Try the question. And uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you. See you in tomorrow's video. Bye for now.